people whom the Lord has indignation forever. Malachi 1 and 4. This is no mistranslation as the same concept is also conveyed in the New Testament. As it was written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. White people. Romans 9 and 13. This hatred by God towards Esau is an attribute that the human heart cannot accept or embrace. And therefore, many will try to explain it away. The scores or theologians have avoided this truth of the scripture or have whitewashed it into something more appealing to human nature. God not only hates Esau, Edom, and is against these people, but refers to them as the people of my curse. Isaiah 34, 5. This curse is not just on Esau, but also his seed and his brethren. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his high neighbor and his neighbors. And he is no more among Esau's brethren were Amalekites, which were descended from one of Esau's grandson, which are the fake Jews now. In Genesis 36, 4 to 12, it was these Edomite kingsmen who God had sworn war against from generation to generation. Exodus 17, 16, God's hatred of Edom is not a temporary thing, but is perpetual. The doctrine that God loves everyone does not stand in, up in the light of what the Bible has to say regarding God's merciless position towards the race of people called Edom. Although the churches have tried to alter God's true nature, we find that throughout the Bible, God's position towards Esau, Edom does not change.